Sprinkler has a robust set of reporting and presentation functionality to help you analyze your data and share it with others. To access the features, open a new page. Under Sprinkler Social in the Analyze column, select the option you'd like. Presentations allows you to create a live presentation pulling active data from the system. You can brand it and design it just as you would a PowerPoint, but the graphs will update in real time. Please be aware that you'll need a stable internet connection when presenting this data. Use caution if that might be an issue for you. Custom metrics allow you to create robust, customized metrics according to your measurement needs you should note that by and large, most metrics you might need are already in the system as there are hundreds available. The reporting glossary will help define those hundreds of metrics that are already in the system, both by channel and ones that are global across Sprinkler. For example, engagements mean something different on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. The reporting glossary will explain the differences. Clicking on reporting, will open the reporting dashboards menu. You'll see a folder for your unit where you can store your own dashboards for easy access, or you can use this show dashboards menu to navigate between the different types. We'll start out under standard dashboards, which you can click to expand if it's not already, then social engagement and click overview. This will show you a summary of all your accounts from your account group or all accounts that you have access to in one view. There's visualizations related to post and engagement, engagement types, media, a message scorecard showing your top performing posts over that time period, and more. The customization of these dashboards is limited as they're templated, but you can change the visualization if you'd like. With this wider time span, you can also change the level of aggregation in some charts, such as daily, weekly, or monthly. If you'd like to make further customizations to this dashboard, such as adding or removing widgets or changing the order in which they are displayed, you can do so by cloning the dashboard or creating a new one. Click the More Actions icon and Clone to use this as a template or Create to start from scratch or with a blank template. We'll cover that in a bit. There are other types of engagement dashboards that are channel specific and show channel specific metrics such as types of reactions or types of content. Feel free to explore any of these. They all behave in the same way as this overview dashboard with limited customization, but you can be sure that as new features are added to Sprinkler, the dashboards are updated to accommodate these features. To create a new dashboard, we'll click Create, give the dashboard a name, Choose your folder for where you want it to live. Choose your starter dashboard. You can start from an empty dashboard or any of the dashboards from that standard list you just viewed. I'm going to start with empty. Click Create. And now I see my empty dashboard where I can add a widget. I can choose to create a custom widget using these menus to choose my visualization type and all the metrics that I would like to include, adding filters if necessary, labeling my axes, etc. Note that this data source is set to social analytics. That means it's pulling from your channels. There's other options as well, including inbound analytics to measure messages coming into your account. If I wanted, I could also go to the widget library, which has some pre-built widgets based on common questions. You can look through these lists on the left side and see different types of common metrics that may be of interest. Perhaps I want to analyze the source. 
I could choose this widget and click Add to Dashboard to add it as is, or I could click Customize if I want to make some minor tweaks. I'll add this one, and I'll add this one. When I'm all done with that, I'll click Done, and I can see those widgets have now appeared on my dashboard. If I'd like, I can add section filters. I can move the widgets around by clicking and dragging. Or if I'd prefer, I can use the edit layout function and edit in a wireframe view. Once all my changes are made, I can click save. I can also add other sections to have a tabbed interface. So perhaps I have a overview tab and then a tab for each channel. You can build out your dashboard however you'd like. Once it's complete, if you'd like to share it, you can do so through this dropdown.